Gnosticism. This usually is the image uh, associated with Gnosticism. Having studied Gnosticism for, oh God, how has it been 17 years already? Gnosticism. Um, no sex, no children, no women. Stoicism, the belief that nature is ugly and evil. The God who created all of nature, um, like the physical world, is evil. The body is a tomb. Uh, the invisible God is 100% good. Uh, <coughs> and you must be an elitist that looks down on everyone else. Again, I didn't make these things up. Um, the evil God that created all of nature, uh, all the physical world, is called the Demiurge. And the Demiurge tries to entice and deceive by the beauty of the natural world and through um, sexual desire. The good God is 100% spiritual and had nothing to do with uh, the creation of anything physical. Um, <clears throat> two main characteristics of Gnosticism are Docetism, believing the physical world is evil, everything physical uh, or created by the Demiurge is evil, and all that which is spiritual is created by the good God, um, the Docete. Um, now, um, asceticism is embraced because of the Docete. There is a large amount of secrecy around it, as well as there being Aeons and Archons. The Archons are kind of like the Demiurge's angels or minions. Um, although they are also rulers of both uh, the political world as well as the spiritual rules, uh, the spiritual rulers of the, um, the various realms that you must pass. Uh, they are like uh, angels slash judges um, that can uh, cause you to trip up. Shockingly close to um, the toll houses of uh, a faction of Eastern Orthodoxy. Here's a view of the uh, the Aeons that must be passed. Let me see if I can scroll down. Okay, now, there's something about this that irks me. Now, while um, various factions believe that uh, the serpent in the Garden of Eden uh, was the true one, the uh, the good God, who is um, all spiritual, took on the presence of a serpent. Uh, many equate this, many of the Gnostics equate this with Christ, because Gnosticism can be laid squarely at the feet of Paul of Tarsus, um, or Pseudo-Paul, since it's really in works like Colossians and Ephesians that we get these very Gnostic ideas. Um, undisputed Paul really does not have Gnostic ideas within his works. Um, so that the good God is actually handing over the knowledge of good and evil to mankind, which was forbidden from by the demiurge who while crafting an eternal earthly paradise did not want um, man to become like him now 
here is a diagram that is incorrect since the Arians were not Gnostics. The Valentinians were. I don't know why they don't have the Basilidians here. Although they're correct as having Marcion not being a Gnostic because while he was a Docetist and believed that there was a good God and an evil God and that the good God uh, had nothing to do with the physical world and the evil God um, created the physical world including sex, childbirth, and um, beauty. Uh, he did not have any secret teachings unlike the Gnostics, like the Valentinians, the Ophites, the Sethians, and the Basilidians. Arius just disagreed with the Catholic Church over one iota, so he wasn't really a Gnostic. Um, hmm. Origin, while belie believing in a pre-existing soul and reincarnation, was not a Gnostic. It says Christianity here, although the Gnostics are Christian. This should say Catholicism with a little c. It wasn't big C Catholicism yet, or Orthodoxy. And Paul, uh, not the most blameless. Oh, also the... Uh, just goes without saying, you probably figured it out, but the, uh, the Gnostics were anti-Semites, heavily anti-Semites. They hated the God of the Old Testament. Gnosticism. Some differences. Um, the Catholic slash Orthodox Christianity, all were welcome. Men and women were equal. There were no secret teachings. Nature and creation of God were good. The body is important. Um, and the body is half of the soul. No human being is untouchable trash. The Gnostics, however, despised childbirth, conception, sex, uh, carnal pleasure, uh, and the most perfected state in many Gnostic groups was to starve oneself to death, like with the Albigensians, also known as the Cathars. <sighs> Let me see what this one says. The divine Jesus would never touch flesh, which is evil. Jesus only seemed human. Jesus only appeared to die. Jesus, Christ left Jesus before the crucifixion. That's a form of, of Gnosticism or Docetism, because there's nothing really Gnostic about that. It's more Docetic. And that was only a form of Docetism. Uh, Whereas other forms of docetism, Christ never had a flesh body. So there was nothing for Jesus. There was, Je there was no body for the Christ to leave. Um, he actually disappeared when the sun went down. So... Mm. Docetism, that's what we were talking about. There's Rome. Now here are some of the apostles, right? Funny that they shouldn't they didn't know anything about docetism. Now um as I said the uh the founder of Docetism. Hmm. Is this, does this get into the Mendeans? No, it does not. Oh, there's the massacre of the Christians. Huh. So, 
what did we learn? That the God of the Jews was evil. And that um, Gnosticism was either intentionally or inadvertently caused by Paul because Paul, sorry for the room being kind of messy, um, Paul is what it's called, sometimes get accused of being an antinomian, which means uh, the law is, is null and void, so the Gnostics did not hold to any of the laws. Um, and he actually referred to uh, the God of the Old Testament as a taskmaster. Um, I believe it's in Colossians. Sorry, I think it's in Corinthians. My bad. Hmm. Yeah. <clears throat> so, the Gnostics, um, anytime you, I mean, Dan Brown got it completely wrong that they, you know, they were all for sex and stuff like that. No, no sex, no childbirth. Do you know why? Because um, having sex was the most carnal act you could do, and it bound you to this world, and, get, and, and it was it um, attracted you to this world by being the most pleasurable carnal thing, and you could possibly uh, trap a soul, pull down a soul from the pleroma from heaven and trap it in a human body. Oh yeah, some terms that you'll find in the New Testament of Paul and that are used by Christians as well as the Gnostics. Nous, Pleroma, Aletheia, Logos, Sophia, Ecclesia, and Aeon. Archon as well. But yeah. Last of the Gnostics to die out were the Albigensians, also known as the Cathars. Bullwomels died out around the same time. But when your perfect die, the people who perfected their uh, spiritual techniques starved themselves to death, and childbirth was prohibited.